Hello everybody, I am Assetto Forza Maximo and today we just hit the 1000 subscriber threshold! Alright, that's enough celebration for now. So anyways, let's start off with my first ever Q&A where I answer your questions. Now this took me a while to do the whole Q&A thing since the announcement that I did. But the reason why I did that is because I wanted to wait at the right time to do this. And so, we got 1,000 subscribers so here we are. I now answer your questions. I even also have the main six with me to read the questions that you guys sent and I'll answer them. All right, let's begin. Your Xbox friend Ivan Sanchez says, what is your favorite Soul Calibur 6 creation? Ah uh, yes, Soul Calibur custom characters. Now for those who are subscribed to this channel only, I play Soul Calibur 6 and it's basically a fighting game that I do post Soul Calibur content, but it's not under this channel. It's actually posted on another channel under the name FHRC Brony. So to answer your question, Ivan Sanchez, my favorite Soul Calibur custom character that I ever made is pretty much a lot of my Taki based characters. And yes, I am a Taki main, so I actually like the whole agility she has and you know the way she fights is pretty much my favorite. So yeah, I'm a Taki main and most of my characters and my favorite characters that I've made are Taki based characters. And CTHC has three questions for you. The first is, is what is the first My Little Pony episode you watch? When I first got into My Little Pony back in 2016, uh, I was actually binge watching it with my cousins. I believe I was watching the pilot episode and throughout season one. And we pretty much been binge watching it all the way to like season seven or eight, somewhere around there. And I still carried on all the way to season nine where that was our last season of MLP. Second question from him is, what are some of your favorite My Little Pony songs? Now, this one's a little bit of a tricky question for me to answer, but since my friend Rap City HC is a My Little Pony mashup music-based channel that's subscribed to my other channel that's dedicated to music, if I had to choose, I had to go with um, Smile and Apples to the Core. But if it's MLP songs that I covered using Apple's GarageBand, then it would be Run to Break Free and All Good. So. Yeah, like I said, this question is a little bit tricky for me to answer because I got so many favorite songs from MLP. His last question is, did anyone inspire you to become a YouTuber? I'm mainly influenced by three people, at least on this channel. Those being RC Enthusiast and also LEGO Enthusiast, Jang from Ultimate RC, RC Mania, and Jang Bricks. Doug DeMiro with his whole car reviews. And also Granddad is an old man who hails all the way from beautiful Great Britain. He's a, a DIYer that helped me inspire to do some DIY projects for myself. So, right on ya. And yes, I can talk in a slight British accent here because uh, I do watch a lot of Top Gear back in the day. So, uh, my British accent is not the best, but it is getting there. So, all in all, I like doing this accent sometimes. Did I just forget one more person? I should have four influencers than just three. This last person that I'm actually influenced by is one of my friends from New Zealand, uh, Aurelia Charm of Raspberry Studios. She was the one that really motivated me to do some digital art, mainly the Forza scene, because I did a lot of Forza digital art back in 2018 and 2019. And that was when I didn't have an iPad to do my Ibis paint projects, which I do now. Uh, but yeah, Aurelia Charm of Raspberry Studio is the one that really motivated me to do some digital art. So, and I even made fan art for her as well. So, Aurelia Charm of Raspberry Studios, uh, if you're watching this, I really do thank you for that, for motivating me to get into digital art. I salute you for that. Can your past three questions for you? The first is, can I help my livery from Forza Horizon into Forza Motorsport Seven? Unfortunately, you can only just import an old Forza title livery all the way onto the new one, but not the other way around. 
The other question from him is, how did you voice Twilight Sparkle as commentator during the Rainbow Dash race on Monza? 15.ai. His last question is, what are the competition rules on Equestria Motorsports and Shadow Bolt's rivalry? There's no rules specifically for a specific rivalry, uh, but it's really hard for me to answer this question because the rules kind of change every now and then, so I can't really have a firm answer for that because, like I said, things change with that. One of the ponies forgot to read this for me. What is your favorite on-road RC? Now, I can't really give you a firm answer on what favorite on-road RC car I have because the only on-road RC car that I pretty much own is a Traxxas Fortech. But to be honest with you, I really do like the Fortech. It's a really nice car and it's pretty versatile for what it is. Um, but I will be reviewing some other RC cars, uh, on-road RC cars from different brands if I have the chance. Apple Auto says, do you think Rainbow Dash can beat my six minute 30 for second or bigger left time? Ivan Sanchez once again asks, how long did it took when you built Rarity's race car design on Forza 6 and Forza 7? The laugh for Rarity design was actually done back in 2016 uh, in the Xbox 360 version of Horizon 2. And it didn't look like the one it looked today. But when I got an Xbox One back in 2018, I did change La Ferrarity when I got Horizon 3. And the La Ferrarity on Horizon 3 basically looks like the one that we know today, which is basically a regular La Ferrari that was dressed up to look like a Ferrari FXXK. Now, as far as timing is concerned, I believe the first La Ferrarity I'd done was maybe it took 30 minutes. And the one that we know today is probably took about 45 minutes to an hour, I think. Connor Ross asks, what's the first game you played? Oh yes, I love this question. Now, the first game, or should I say games, that I ever played was Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine, GoldenEye 007, and Zelda Ocarina of Time on the Nintendo 64. Your girlfriend, Chico, says, what's your favorite MLP character? I hope this answers your question, Shuka. Some foreign name I couldn't pronounce this. What's your favorite Xbox game? Forza Motorsport. And finally, your other Xbox friend, Old Trenovus, says, What was your favorite project to do in Forza Motorsport 7? While making music videos back in Horizon 3 was all well and good, I think my favorite Forza Motorsport 7 project that we did was when uh, you, Nova, Eric, and Anthony, and I were was doing the whole Nicky Lauda tribute uh, lap on the Nurburgring, where you were driving the Ferrari 312T, Eric and the Enzo Ferrari, Anthony in the GTC4 Lusso and Rarity herself in the La Ferrari. And so those are the questions answered on today's Q&A. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed that. And I'm so glad that I reached 1,000 subscribers. Until then, I'll talk to you guys again soon.